Howdy. Welcome to the deli. How you doing today? Good, how are you? Here's my menu. Everything on it has been named after movies. That'll help you interpret. By the way, the Reuben is the house special here. It is delicious. Chicken salad is homemade and great. Meatballs, homemade, and the barbecued beef just won't quit. Take a moment and see what you'd like. Everything on the left side of the menu is a standard sandwich that we make you, and they're delicious. On the right side, you have a choice of breads, dark rye, light rye, seven grain or sourdough. You have mustard, mayo, both or none. You have lettuce or tomato, and black olive, banana, pepper, or onion if you choose. So with that in mind, have a go. So, what do you like? I don't know. What are my options? Oh, God. You've got turkey, ham, roast beef, anything you'd like. All right, let's try turkey. Turkey sounds good. And would you like that on dark rye, light rye, seven grain, or sourdough bread? Seven grain. Mustard mayo, both or none? Both. Lettuce, tomato? Uh, lettuce, no tomato. And black olive, banana, pepper, or onion? All. All. Super. Uh, let's see. Swiss, Munster, cheddar, or provolone? Uh, provolone. Provo. And would you like potato salad, coleslaw, or my Boston baked beans? Baked beans. Beans. Would you like a drink with that? Uh, yes. Great. Sounds like a plan. Tom, my favorite is the, the chicken run. You have a great story about the chicken salad. I, I'd love to hear it. Yes, I do. You know, it's funny. You see these little old ladies come in who are very sweet and very demure and very, very nice. But then they look at me and they say, What are you putting your chicken salad? And I go, Ooh. I said, Chicken? What do you mean, ma'am? Of course, chicken. And they say, you don't put any grapes or onions or anything like that, do you? And I said, chicken. And so with that in mind, they're still skeptical, and they'll look at me and say, is your bread really fresh? <laughs> and I tell them, you know, ma'am, We've chopped that top layer of mold off. It's a lot sweeter now. And they look at me like this. No. And I say, no. Eat the damn chicken salad, you love it. And that was it. That's the chicken salad story. You know, I was in corporate for 25 years, and this is my last vestige of corporate. If you need a conference room, we have one. More importantly, if you need a conference room, this is where you go. Shall I tell it? Yeah, go ahead. Well, <clears throat> then in 2004, Jill Cordes gave me a call. And uh, with that in mind, she said, Hi, Tom. You remember me? Jill Cordes? I said, 
how the hell could I forget? <laughs> My God, you put me on the map. And she says, well, that's great. I'm glad. She'll, uh, she said, still busy? Still making those Rubens? Still having fun? I said, yes, I am. Things are going very well. She said, well, Mark Silverstein and I are going to put together a book on the best of the best. And we would like your permission to put you in the book. And I said, you need my permission? Please, just go ahead and put it in. It'll be fine. So with that in mind, that's how the best of the best, the Food Network's best of the best came into being. And this book took off in 2004 and uh, never stopped. So then uh, the best of the best, best of the food channel was put together and we were top five countdown for delis in America. And that itself is quite a statement because uh, people come in and they say, we saw you. I said, you did. We saw you on the Food Channel. We saw you. And I said, does your TV still work? Okay, fine. But that's the, t that's the whole deal of it was, more importantly, the Food Channel found us. They not only filmed us for the Best of series, but then the top five countdown for delis in America. That was wonderful.